Hi guys, welcome back to our channel guys. So we have a ripe bananas guys. You remember my friend and I, Noella, uh, we showed you a, a banana tree. Yeah, so now that banana tree was just blinked twice and the whole tree was ripe guys. We didn't even know, like uh, it passed us like that. So we have bananas and uh, we don't know what to do with it. So we are looking for a recipe. So Leticia, my 12 year old, likes uh, uh, witty, witty things. So she is the one who has woken me up at 7 a.m. on a weekend, guys, to come and to cook, to come and make, uh, what? What are you making? Banana cake. Banana, but is it banana cake or banana bread? The only I'm making is cake. Oh, we are making cake. Mm -hmm. So guys, we, don't, we want to do an experiment first with, <laughs> with a little, because now, we, we, how many bananas do we need for Three. that recipe? Three. Three and we have, uh, uh, how many? Ten. Anyway, guys, so we are going to do uh, an, an experiment first because now me, I'm not a baker. Tisha is the one who is a baker. Guys, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. So, Tisha, come and show us the ingredients. What do is mash the bananas. Those, how many bananas are those? Three bananas. Hey, add one more banana. Add one more. Can you imagine? Add the, the one that is very ripe. Yeah, even if the ingredient says uh, three bananas. In fact, you should add one more. You should add one more. Okay. The one that is very ripe. Yeah, that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to mash. You, yeah. You're not going to use this. Yeah, that's better. After mashing, what will you do? Go ahead and crack it. two eggs in another bowl. Always think of you someday, somewhere together we'll be, baby. I and you check the time. You wait for us, nobody else, baby. Uh -uh. You check the time. Okay, so this is uh, the mashed bananas. So now we need to put it aside for. Later, I wanted to say mashed potatoes. Mashed I don't potatoes. know why mashed potatoes sounds <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh -huh. Now we get two eggs and crack them into a bowl. Yes, two eggs uh -huh. in a separate bowl. Yeah. Yes. And sugar. Sugar and we have banana. How many spoons? Two. Put one, Tisha. Those bananas are sugary. Put one. This actually says three spoons. No, no, no. <laughs> we already have the banana that is sugar. We don't have. We don't want a lot of sugar. Okay. That's enough. Put the sugar. Yeah. <coughs> and now we. The Whisk, Whisk it. Whisk it. So, once the sugar dissolves, this is how your mix mixture should look like. If you use one spoon of sugar. So you are you're putting salt. Yeah. yeah so that is too sugar. Much. Half a spoon. Half a spoon. That looks too much. The recipe said well, I have a spoon. Yeah. Yes, and then? We had our baking soda and baking powder. The two of them? Yeah. I actually uh, thought one is used in place of the other. So they are different. Mm -hmm. 
The other one also have a spoon. Yours is not even half, it's quarter spoon. <laughs> anyway, go, go on, go on. This is an experiment we are doing. We add our oil. What size? About a quarter of this. That's not quarter. That's too little. Mm -hmm. Some milk. Just some milk. No size. <laughs> You're an African <laughs> woman. You just measure with your eyes. Yeah. Hey, but that's little. I think we should add. Huh? That's how yours was also little. The what? The recipe. <coughs> and then yogurt. Yeah, three spoons. Tablespoons, not teaspoons. Then the always helps everything, right? Right, correctly, Tisha. Mm -hmm. okay. Three spoons of yogurt, and now we whisk. Mm -hmm. Then you go ahead and add. One and a half cups of flour. <laughs> we don't even have a measuring cup. <laughs> Tisha will use her eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> One and a half cups. Hey, Tisha, you are a real baker. So, how do you know that's one and a half? You just know? Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to buy those cups, those measuring cups. <laughs> Yes. So now you need to sieve it. <laughs> Why are we sieving, by the way? To move things like this. What are those? Lamps. Okay. So basically, there's no need for sieving. It's to let the air in. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Baker. Tisha is? Kid, Tisha is? A cook. Even a cooker. Even a cooker. She is a cooker, is a baker, is all those things. We do, we do what? We just until we get rid of all the lamps. Okay. The lamp. We still haven't added the banana, right? Yeah. Banana. Mix until it's... It's smooth. Yeah. It has a, a smooth... Get rid of all of the lamps. Yeah. So now, Canada banana. Mm -hmm. You can use a spoon to clear everything. Well blended. Yeah, you need a muscle. Yeah. But you ate Ugali yesterday, so you have the energy. 
right? Yes. Mix, mix and chill. The mix cheese uniformly spread to make a homogeneous mixture. Hey, you're using vocabularies, huh? Are these the baking vocabularies or what? Science vocabularies. Hey. Homogeneous. Heterogeneous. <laughs> homogeneous means what? It's the mixture is uniformly spread out. Heterogeneous is means it's an uniformly spread. An example of a homogeneous mixture mm. is what I make. Oh, okay. Example of heterogeneous. It becomes one. An example of heterogeneous is oil and water. Mm, they don't mix. Mm. It's a sand and water. Also? Sand and water. Sand and water. Mm. Teach me science, my baby. So is it homogeneous? Yes. What is the next process? So now, you should have Oil. So you oil and then? Then you can push the parchment paper. It's better to beat the line brush. <laughs> when we become real bakers, we will buy those things, Tisha. <laughs> By the way, we should buy them. And I'm just using just used for this. Mm. But it can also be used for making pancakes, mm. right? Mm. And also, when you're cooking stuff like meat, maybe you're, you want to add some flavor, so then you just use the oil brush to put it on. Like maybe you're making chicken, so then you just put the mixture on it by using an oil brush. Hmm, Tisha, Tisha, anyway, the kids said you are a cooker, you are a real cooker. Me, I just know how to cook skuma wiki and ugali, and that's it. But you, you are teaching me how to use your oil brush and, and how to brush chicken and all. You can also use it for an egg wash. What? Egg wash. What is egg wash? It's maybe when you are cooking stuff. Maybe you want to fry it, maybe you're putting flour on top. As you usually use cold water, but egg wash also adds some flavor. So you use, just crack the egg. Then you dip the egg, then, or you can brush it with an oil brush. Wow. When you're cooking something that doesn't need deep frying, like maybe you're putting it in the oven. So then we have parchment paper. We should now place on the pan, like so. Yeah. Tisha is cooking. He is a cook. A cooker. A cooker. Yes, after that, you can pour your mixture. But if you don't have parchment paper, you can just oil the pan and put it directly. Yeah. What is the purpose of that paper? Okay. For easier peeling from the bottom. Okay. So that's our mixture, guys. Please consider subscribing, guys. If you uh, you love this video, give us a thumbs up. See how my daughter knows how to bake. She's a baker, she's a cooker. Maybe you, 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 you have so many non academic things you can do, Tisha, which is a good thing, by the way. If this is a passion of yours, you can also do it. Mm, so now we can go ahead and put it in our preheated oven. Our preheated oven, yay! Finally. It has 40 minutes at 40 minutes 180 degrees top and bottom okay and you explained really well even someone who doesn't know how to cook like me will understand so now we 
see it after 40 minutes see you after 40 minutes guys so it has been 40 minutes this is uh the end result tisha hmm? uh-huh then we took it out of the oven a few minutes ago and let it to cool. Let it cool. It looks good. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Moment of truth. <laughs> but then why did it deflate, guys? Any idea why that happened? <laughs> Guys, I don't know where we went wrong. Where did we go wrong, Tisha? Any kids, you're eating it. This thing didn't cook from inside, guys. It didn't cook. It didn't. It didn't cook from inside. Mm -hmm. Guys, please give us ideas. Where did we go wrong? Before we go to the next one, please tell us what we did. Mm -hmm. What <laughs> please, we did? Uh, please tell us what we did wrong because now what are we going to do with those bananas, surely? Hmm? Yeah, but it's one. still good. It's still good. You will eat it. Me, I can't eat it. I can't. Maybe we added too much milk. Really? Is the reason the big crazy? <laughs> yeah, I can't eat it. Like why 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 did you not cook inside from inside? Oh. Anyway guys, that is our baking gone wrong. Baking gone what? Gone wrong. Baking gone wrong. Guys, please comment down below and let us know what we might have done wrong <coughs> because we have a whole ten bananas to, to use. So thank you so much for watching guys. We will meet in the next video. See you.